What's good? What's up? It's your girl Michaela Janae here back with another Monster Speaks. Today I will talk about how to be your own peace. In 2019, this was one of the biggest things. Like, I want somebody to be my peace. I want to be their peace. I want you guys to be your own peace in 2020. I have my little notes on my phone, so let's just hop right into the video. First and foremost, to be your own peace, you must let go of things you cannot control. So many of us are running ourselves and running our minds rapid, trying to control every aspect of our life, whether it's people, because, you know, I'm guilty. I'm like, why? isn't this person listening to me when I'm right I already know I am <laughs> like that's unhealthy you have to let go of the things you cannot control the only person that's in control of everything is God so all of these aspects that seem to be not going your way and everything seems a little bit out of control at all times that's life you have to let go of these things that seem out of order God didn't call any of us to be perfect so of course our lives would be a little bit unperfect at times and we just have have to find peace in that chaos and allow his word to be our peace in the chaos at all times one of my favorite Christian songs from 2019 was symphony by switch and what they're saying in that song is even in the madness there's peace throughout all of the chaos in the world God is writing a symphony and that means no matter how crazy it looks it's all a part of his plan and it works out in the end so let go of the things you cannot control number Number two is avoid comparing yourself to others. I already did a whole video on comparison. It was the first video of the year called Run Your Race. If you guys did not watch that, click on it. It's in the cards above. Stop comparing yourself to others, okay? You will not have any peace if you're constantly looking at that girl and like, okay, I need to get to where she's at because we're the same age and I should be there. And look, she's already starting her business. Her hair is already this long. Like, no, stop the comparison. I know it's hard. The human in us wants to look at other people and think that we should be equals, but everyone is on a different lap of their race and that's just facts. Even if we're the exact same age, we're never gonna be in the same exact spot because that's not how life works and that's not how God works. Run your race, stop comparing. You are exactly where you need to be. You're in the right lane, you're in the right lap. Do you. Number three is to keep your faith larger than your fears. One thing I struggled with in 2019 in the beginning was fear so many things were coming at me you know college life after high school money is things that can be really scary but in 2020 I want your faith to be way bigger than all of that I had to build up my faith and build up my spiritual maturity to be able to know that God has everything to work out fear is really just fiction like literally it is the devil suggesting all the different possibilities that could happen it makes us a little scared and you know Fear comes to us in all different shapes and forms. Fear can be with you because it's just there, but you have to know how not to listen to it and allow your faith to talk to fear. We're not even allowing fear to infest our heads right now, okay? Our faith needs to be bigger than our fear. Number four is to don't do anything that doesn't feel right. In 2020, we are trusting our gut. And before I even go into that, when you trust your gut, your gut is the Holy Spirit and you have to be close enough to God to have that discernment and to be able to trust your gut. So let me just say that. A lot of us, we do things and we're like, mm, that don't feel right. Or you're with your friends and you're like, maybe I shouldn't be doing what they doing because I'm on a different path than them. Mm, maybe I shouldn't eat that right now because I'm trying to be somewhere. I'm trying to get some abs, you know. I have goals. I want you guys to trust yourselves in 2020. Trust your gut. Number five is don't be afraid to spend time with yourself. I have a whole video on self-care that will also be in the cards above i want you to step away from the friends take some time to yourself get to know yourself more know what you like and don't like even when it comes to relationships if you're already in one okay that's fine but if you're single get to know you you have to know what you like what you dislike who you are how's your standing with god are you happy are you faking being happy i want you guys to spend some alone time with you you don't have to always be the life of the party you don't have 
have to be the event planner you don't have to be the one that keeps everything together spend a little time on you self-care is really important this year number six is to avoid gossip okay gossip is just toxic i don't even have to go into this it's like whenever people are talking about people at my school i'm just like that's none of my business okay this don't have nothing to do with me because it's toxic and it's not cute and a lot of people be like i'm not gossiping i'm just stating facts no whenever you're talking about people in a not nice way and you're talking about people behind their back making assumptions about what you think stating your opinion that doesn't even have to be said you're gossiping and it's toxic and it shows all over you i see it okay it's not cute number six seven is to speak kindly to yourself and to other people you have to be a light at all times and even if you're being nice to others i want you to make sure that you're also being nice to yourself what you say matters you can't be like i'm stupid i'm fat i'm ugly no all of those are not even good things even if those things are true to what you think are true speak light you can't be like oh i'm so sad be like i'm going to be happy soon okay even if you are in a dark place right now be like i see the light you have to talk for what you want and talk for where you want to be not to where you are right now so you know just be more nice to yourself be nice to others when you're talking number eight is please yourself before you try to please other people there's so many people pleasers out there and they just they're living life to make other people happy and the only person you need to make happy is god so if you're being a nice person and you're doing what you have to do that's the requirements you don't have to you know bend over backwards to make this person's life easier or to do things for them and you're not even being there for yourself i don't want you guys to be overstretched this year of course i want you to give your time and give your space but do it when god says to do it don't go around trying to please others and please the flesh and please your friends worry about pleasing god and that's it one of the most important ways to protect your peace and be your own peace this year is to stay away from people who drain your energy if people are constantly draining your energy and taking everything out of you and there's no purpose in that relationship and they're just there because you've known them for a while or you go to school with them all of that is just excuses i want you guys to evaluate your relationships and really ask god who needs to be there lord if you did not send them then i don't even want them in my area they're draining my energy and number 10 is to ignore the opinions that don't enhance your life that don't add anything to your story your plan a lot of people's opinions can steer you in the wrong direction a lot of times it's the enemy trying to plant things in your head and are not from God what matters is God's opinion of you and what you're doing and your journey it's not about what other people think it's about what God thinks doing what feels right for you so stop allowing all those people to speak into your life and give their opinion on things that's going on you don't Need everyone's okay to move forward the only okay you need is God's okay okay so I think that is all these were my quick little 10 ways to protect your peace and be your own peace in 2020 all right y'all I hope you enjoyed this video if you did holla at me in the comments and I'll holla back I'll see you guys in another video soon